Educational picture books. Who knew some humans drank blood to survive? This video is sponsored by Para Books. After a successful crowdfunding campaign, Para Books delivered a remarkably detailed art book styled after authentic SCP research journals. Each page is filled with beautiful illustrations and secret files. Now they're back with even more SCP goodness. Their new SCP poster set will please even the most die-hard of fans. This set of high-quality posters features professional illustrations of the most iconic SCPs. Each poster is two-sided, doubling the amount of amazing art you get. On the bottom of each poster comes a detachable calendar so you can track the new year. It all comes shipped in this sturdy poster tube that will prevent damage and creases. You'll get 14 stylish illustrations that you can enjoy all year long. And if you missed out on the crowdfunded SCP books, don't worry, they are now available on Amazon. They sport a stylish new slipcase with all the same content inside. So don't wait, follow the Shopify link in the description to see all sorts of SCP related goodies. Click the buy on Amazon button and it'll bring you directly to the product page. We can't wait for what Para Books has in store for this year. Ah, uh, yep, that's right for an and. Vampires are totally real. That's gang fun and are you commoner? It's impossible to find good servants these days. Is this guy serious? As a heart attack, he eats whoever he doesn't like. Operating procedure is to keep him happy and well fed. Watch the master. Would it's my liege care for a sparkling water? Why, of course. How you know me. And that's how it's done. <laughs> Take that sparkling water now, if you don't mind. Attention all researchers. Aberrant behavior detected in SCP-082. Lockdown initiated. All these sounds and voices. What happened to my quiet countryside? Hey! Let me out! It's my water! Come on! Oh my water! Do it, Buck. There's guards outside, we can keep him contained. 082 only cooperates because he believes he's the King of France. What do you think will happen when we open a door to a state-of-the-art testing facility? Why are you staring at that thing? Look at me! It's past time for my third dinner. Please! 082's eating habits are erratic. We'll never have a workable model of his behavior without more data. What are you saying, Buck? No, this is her first assignment. So we lucked out. Some D-Class take years to be useful. Please, At least look away. We have to help them. Or this in? What did you do? <laughs> Guillotine, eh? Resins are so predictable. Attention all personnel. 082 has breached containment. How does it feel? Trading one life for hundreds. And she didn't even survive. Guards. There are guards posted outside. Neither will they. Man down! We need backup! Repeat! We need backup! <laughs> the facility is still locked down, sir. SCPs and sensitive assets have been sealed away. Now we just have to hunt it down. As always, the Council appreciates your prompt countermeasures. But these breaches don't just happen. To whom do we owe this disaster? I directed too much power to another experiment. The locks reset, and Fernand took advantage of the downtime. Dr. Buck? It was my fault, sir. This carelessness is very unlike you, Buck. See that this does not happen again. Now, to the matter at hand. Studies suggest 082 has infinite stamina and appetite. 
The Foundation can't rely on one of our guard teams to handle this alone. They're going to need assistance. My thoughts exactly. We'll send for a containment specialist right away. On-site weaponry will barely slow 082 down, but that's better than nothing. So, we're not gonna talk about what just happened? Not unless you insist. You shouldn't have lied, Buck. Letting 082 out was my mistake. If they retire me, so be it. Are you naive or willingly ignorant? At the Foundation, retirement is fatal, especially for scientists of our clearance level. No loose ends. So you'd miss me. I'm not doing this out of love, Molly. Your scientific knowledge simply outweighs your stupidity. You're worth more to me alive than dead. However you want to say it. Somebody call for a containment specialist? Ugh, great. Happy to see you too, Molly. So, we got some kind of Hannibal Lecter wannabe to take out? To contain. Uninjured, if possible. I'll see what I can do. Collingwood, head back to 082's containment chamber. Agent Carson and I will try to guide this thing back in. Got it. Ah, more fashion challenge commoners. What a treat. Good tidings, my liege. Um, what? Shut up and go with it. And who might you two be? Just two of your humble servants, here to escort you back to your chambers. Uh, yeah, you're our king or, or something. You know, I'm starting to doubt that. Seems like this place is no palace. In fact, I'm starting to doubt if we're in France at all. But whatever it is, I like the menu. All right, enough of the charade. You'll pay for that, you swine. Is that the reaction you wanted? That that should have cut straight through his brain. <laughs> I have no brain. I am Big Bird. Oh, stuffing inside. <laughs> no, let me go. Huh? Put her down, freak. White Road interrupt someone in the middle of his meal, wouldn't you say? It's even worse etiquette to eat without the proper utensils. It is, isn't it? I do apologize for my appalling table manners. This hunger does quite a number on me. These filthy peasants have played a cruel trick on you, my king. Painting the walls and adorning the staff in hideous attire. But my royal guard has rounded up all the hooligans and will make sure the palace is returned to normal at once. So I am still the ruler of France. Very much so, King Ferdinand. Please, let me prepare an epic feast for you and the other noblemen, so that you may dine with all the decorum fit for a man of your great stature. Splendid! <laughs> you know that tomfoolery almost had me. May I escort you to the dressing rooms? We must have you looking magnificent for the feast. You'll have your pick of the finest fabrics in the kingdom. Ooh, I already have something in mind. Thank you all for attending on such short notice. Please treat yourself to whatever delicious morsels you like. I know I will. You did well back there, Agent Lawrence. I'm glad someone actually reads the SCP briefings. Well, when I heard Carson was the containment specialist on call, I knew something would go wrong. Hey, I'm not the guy they bring in to read a bunch of science jargon. I'm the guy that shoots big guns at the monsters. It's not like I didn't try. Mm, Dr. Buck, remind me. What do they call it when someone tries something and it's almost a success? A failure. Oh, that's right. Sheesh, what's eating you guys? Uh, okay, too soon? <laughs>